binomial model constructs. Now we are coming to the models. Okay, first model or na binomial model constructs. It constructs one a risk-free portfolio. Binomial model constructs a risk-free portfolio. Binomial model constructs a risk-free portfolio consisting of binomial model constructs a risk-free portfolio consisting of what and what call and share. Binomial model constructs a risk-free portfolio consisting of call and share. Constructs a risk-free portfolio consisting of call and share. Since continue writing, since the portfolio is risk-free. Since the portfolio is risk-free, since the portfolio is risk-free, its future value has zero standard deviation. Since the portfolio is risk-free, its future value has zero standard deviation. Its future value has zero standard deviation. I need not elaborate further. Understand or not? How you say zero standard deviation? FSP 150.90 is always what? 54. So the average also 54. Deviation of mean also is what? Zero. It's not what I'm saying. So it has zero standard deviation. Hence, hence, we can calculate its present value. Hence, we can calculate its present value. Hence, we can calculate its present value using, using what rate? Risk-free rate. Hence, we can calculate its present value using risk-free rate. Hence, we can calculate its present value using risk-free rate. Now, listen here. The beauty is 54 is the future now. I bring it to today by using what rate? Risk-free rate. I am discounting using what? Risk-free rate. In that case, I have discounted the risk-free rate or not? I have discounted the call cash flow as well as what? Share cash flow. Yes or no? Now, in that, what it is, I took out the share cash flow. It has been valued using what? Risky rate, spot price. And the balance at is at what? Risky free rate. In a buy it or not? Yes or no? Portfolio discounted back at what? Risk free rate. So now together the call and share has been found out the present value using what rate? Risk free rate. In that the risky rate discounted share cash flow is what? Taken out. One left is what? Value of the call. Discounted risk free rate. In the or not? What I'm saying is so as a bundle I discount that I just segregated one a separate item the balance is left out in a bar item what I'm saying now so what did I discount at what rate yeah risk of free rate next point point number six or seven or eight or seven from this present value of portfolio from this present value of portfolio if we eliminate from the present value of portfolio, from this present value of portfolio, if we eliminate, from this present value of portfolio, if we eliminate what? The share value. If we eliminate the share value, which is discounted for risk. If we eliminate the share value, which is discounted for risk. Spot price of the share is discounted for risk or not? Yes. If we eliminate the share value, which is discounted for risk, the balance we get as, the balance we get as what? The value of the call. The balance we get as the value of the call. The balance we get as the value of the call. The balance we get as the value of the call. Everybody able to understand this concept or not? Next. Point number 7 or 8? 8. How this portfolio is risk-free portfolio. So we said we use a risk-free portfolio now. How this portfolio is risk-free portfolio. How this portfolio is risk-free portfolio. How this portfolio is risk-free portfolio. Question mark. Right answer. Particulars. Write call, hold share. That is our portfolio now. Write a call, hold share. Okay. I don't say how many shares now. Just say what? Write call, hold the share. Particular write call, hold the share. Okay. Now, share price increases. In particular, right? Share price increases. 
put your mind and tell me when share price increases as a call writer i'm happy unhappy unhappy why the holder will exercise so unhappy right call right unhappy because unhappy because unhappy because what holder exercise unhappy because holder exercise shareholder i'm happy unhappy I'm happy you know happy because shareholder right happy because my wealth increases happy because wealth increases wealth increases can i push it or not now come to the next step share price decreases share price decreases when share price decreases call writer happy and happy i'm happy happy because call will be lapsed happy because call will be lapsed call will be lapsed and next is what unhappy because unhappy because what the wealth decreases unhappy because the wealth decreases unhappy because the wealth decreases can i push it or not next point number 9 why hold only delta shares and not one share why hold only delta shares and not one share why hold only delta shares and not one share question mark ne puri daba answer is in the above problem right in the above problem to tackle to tackle a 15 rupees call value change in the above problem to tackle a 15 rupees call value change to tackle a 15 rupees call value change we need not hold one share to tackle a 15 rupees call value change we need not hold one share we need not hold one share it is enough if we hold it is enough if we hold how much shares here 0.6 shares it is enough if we hold 0.6 shares it is enough if we hold 0.6 shares is that we call as delta hedging we call as what hedging here? hedging means what risk reducing strategy or not the strategy they call as what delta hedging we see in greeks much more elaborately the strategy can i put or not so it is going to be we have to hold only 0.6 shares now did you understand the portfolio or not next last point point number 10 Point number ten. In the step six, I am discussing with the help of the second problem. Okay, in the step six. In the step six, the portfolio value is fifty one point three seven. In step six, the portfolio value is rupees fifty one point three seven. Remember or not? the portfolio value should be 51.37 and the value of a share inside it and the value of the shares inside it and the value of the shares inside it is how much will be 60 and the value of the shares inside it is rupees 60 and the value of the shares inside it is rupees 60 thus the call value should be Thus, the call value should be fill the blank. Should be what minus eight point six three. The call value should be minus eight point six three. How to interpret this negative sign? The call value should be minus eight point six three. How to interpret this negative sign? How to interpret this negative sign? How to interpret this negative sign? I hope everybody understanding or not how to interpret this negative sign. Question mark. Can I proceed or not? Write down. Call writing is not an asset. Now we are writing a call or holding a call. Writing na call writing is not an asset, but an obligation. Call writing is not an asset, but an obligation. 
without this obligation full stop and continue without this obligation our portfolio value would have been without the obligation our portfolio value would have been answer would have been how much rupees 60 without this obligation our portfolio value would have been 60 our portfolio value would have been 60 but due to this obligation but due to this obligation it stands eroded at due to this obligation it stands eroded at how much rupees 51.67 51.37 due to this obligation it stands eroded at 51.37 it stands eroded at 51.37 thus thus call writing resulted in thus call writing resulted in a loss of Call writing resulted in a loss of what? 8.63 portfolio value. Call writing resulted in a loss of 8.63 portfolio value. Resulted in a loss of 8.63 portfolio value. Which the writer asked as premium. Which the writer asked as premium. Which the writer asked as premium from what? Holder. Which the writer asked as premium from the holder which a writer asks as premium from the holder which a writer asks as premium from the holder everybody are you understanding it or not now whatever possible all angles the model has been what explained please tell me it's all no no i don't consider this as a waste of time this is a real way in which option should understand be what understood okay now let us consolidate hit points and then proceed now all of you tell me Earlier, did you value option? Huh? Only set about ranges. Huh? Set about ranges. Now we started doing what? The difficult exercise of what? Valuing the option. Now, what is the problem in option valuation? Discount rate. Number subject rate, discount rate, the problem is. So, no. No discount rate, no subject. Okay, so what is the problem here? Discount rate. Now, all of them felt that. Shh. For whom I am discussing? Summarizing. What is that? All of them. Don't lean on the wall. Sit straight here. Uh, okay, now that's say also. Can I say now? All people felt that option cash flow should not be discounted at what risk free rate. Tell me why they felt that way? Because option derives a value from the underlying asset whose value is already discounted for what? Risk. If the asset value is discounted for risk, we should not separate once again what? Do a separate discounting for risk for option value. So discount using what? Risk free rate. Point number one. Yes or no? Now, but there is a problem in using risk free rate straight away for what? Option cash flow. The reason is option cash flow does not have zero standard deviation. The call values based on FSP what? Changes on maturity rate. Yes or no? Now, I cannot discount the expected call value at what? Zero standard deviation because uh, it is having a standard deviation. I don't know. So I should discount only using what rate? Risky rate. I should not discount using risky rate, but I should also discount using what? Risky rate. The problem arises. Yes or no? So how binomial model tackles that here? It packages the call and watch set together into a portfolio, makes it a what? Risk free portfolio whose future value can be easily discounted what uh, risk free rate. After finding out the present value of the portfolio, take out the share price is discounted for what? Risk. I left I'm left with what uh, the call value not discounted for risk in the return order. So that's how the say option values. Okay. How the portfolio is risk free has been discussed. How we hold delta has also has been discussed. What the interpretation of what minus 8.60 also has been discussed. With that, we complete the binomial model for what? Option validation. In the power, Those who understood, raise your hand. Like at the Punjda power. Now, next, please. Now, same problems. Two problems. We did not. We are going to do the same two problems using another model called as what? Risk neutralization model. What model? Risk neutralization model. How many steps of binomial model? Six steps. How many were risk neutralization? Three steps. How many steps here? Three steps. It is going to be what? Much more shortened. Okay, now, please. This will give us the same answer as what? Binomial. Give the same answer as what? Binomial. Not even one point difference should be there. Are you following what I am saying? No. Please. Shh. This model <laughs> makes the valuation much more simpler 
which helps us to develop binomial trees, develop what binomial trees and make it into Black Scholes model later. Everybody follow what I'm saying? And now this is much more refined, but I can find out the call as well as all put terms and value using this particular model. Okay, now this is what now people very frequently use in place of the six steps. Okay, the six step is the first stage. The improved model is what risk neutralization. Now the improvement in value, but improvement what is the capital that is the calculation part. Can I present or not now? So now let us do the problem using the risk neutralization model. Nobody should ask question when doing what the calculation. You should never ask what any question. I'll complete the entire sum. You should know how the problem should be solved. Later only questions will be what allowed to be asked in this model. Can you start or not? Now, can you start or not? Write down risk neutralization model. Please. Risk neutralization model. Please. Okay. Same question number 22. We are doing question number 22. Same 22. A and B we are going to do. First we will be doing A and then together we will be doing the part B. Okay. No need to copy participate. Please. Now. Here we will be doing or doing without formula. And redoing the problem with formula also. We will derive the formula also quite simply as we move into the model. Can you start or not? Now. Here, when I do, there will be some doubts regarding the way of calculating the option values. Don't have any suspicion. Pakka model, it is never going to have any mistakes in it. Okay. Understand that all models will not be having mistakes. Okay. Only we should understand in the right sense, okay? How the model should be understood, we'll discuss once we are thorough with the calculation. That's why we did the binomial also, right or not? We'll do the calculation, set right the procedure first, and then go for the discussion next, okay? Now, first approach one, I'll do. Tell me the facts of the question. Tell me what are the facts of the question. Tell me 22A. Everybody involve yourself. What the spot price? 100. What the strike price? 97. FSB can be 90 or 180. 90 or 180. And what is term? Three months. What is the interest rate? Five percent. All these numbers, you know, are you falling or not? No. Okay. So I have to use that only for the later discussion. Now I don't have the slide. Without looking at it, tell me what are all the numbers? What is spot price? What is strike price? FSB can be or 180. Interest rate. Term of the option? Three, Three months. months. Now, for this contract, we have a contract here or not? For this contract, I should find out the call value and what? Put value, which we find out using what model? Risk neutralization model. Now, can I put it on? Now, three steps. How many steps here? Three steps. Step one is called as risk neutral probability calculation. What is step one? Risk neutral probability calculation. Step two is expected value of call, expected value of put. What is step two? Expected value of call, expected value of put. The word expected means what? Future. Step three is what? Present value of call, present value of put. That's all. Are you following what I'm saying? So what are three steps here? First step is what? Risk neutral probability calculation. Step two is what? Expected VC, expected VP. Step three is what? Present value of a call and present value of the put option. Everybody, are you following the three steps? or not now let's see how it should be done everything is resting in the understanding of risk neutral probability okay it is not a normal probability it is something different about that we'll discuss one later don't worry about that angle alone we'll discuss the remaining now can you start or not now let's start with the calculation step one situation fsp probability expected fsp okay now all of you tell me there can be two situations which a person is contemplating. Share price can be what? 108 or can be what? 90. Whenever I use the word can be, can be, what should be that? Probability should be that. Yes or no? So the share price can be 108 or can be what? 90. Okay. For the FSP to be 108, I assign a probability of P. I assign a probability of what? P. We all know that uh, a yeah, weighted expected means what? Weighted average. What expected FSP? 108P. 
for chapter is of what? 90. What probability? 1 minus P. If that is having 60% charge, they should be having what? 40% charge. So what is the data is going to be? 90 into 1 minus P. Everybody understanding it or not? No. Very simple. Somebody asked you, after 3 months, do you expect the share price to be 108 or 90? People will not tell extreme. They always say what? Average. So the average is what? 108, uh, say that is P plus what? 90 into 1 minus T. Is a weighted average. Respond. Yes or no? No. Don't question the procedure. Just follow it. Okay. Now. The expected FSP is 108P plus 90 into 1 minus P. Yes or no? This they say should be equal to should be equal to spot price compounded to future. Why it is don't ask? It will be equal to what? Spot price compounded to what? Future. That is the expected spot FSP is today money or tomorrow money or tomorrow money. So after three months, the share price is expected to be what? 108P into what? 90 in 108P plus 90 into 1 minus P. That they say spot price taken to future is future spot price yes or no? So they compound the spot price to what future using the risk free rate. Everybody, yes or no? And I get what is spot price? 100. You compound for how many months here? Three months. At what percent? 12 percent. And at what compounding? Continuous compounding. I'll be getting a number. 1 or 3 or something. So no. Equate this to what? This equation. I'll get P and 1 minus P. Which we call risk neutral probability. Everybody following or not? No. There's a lot of logic into this. Prima facie. Don't worry about that. Follow the procedure. Yes or no? No. So expected FSP. What is FSP? Future spot price. What is future spot price? Spot price. Compounded to what? Future. What is spot price? 100. Compounded at what rate? 12%. For how many months here? 3 months, 100 into e power 0 0.03, enough for it. Please respond, yes or no? no. I'll do it in the sheet and then put it in the slide. Now she can do more elaborate working for you to understand it. Can I proceed? Now, look at this. What is the expected FSP? Weighted average. What is the expected Weighted average. It is nothing but 108P plus 90 into 1 minus P. This we call as what? The expected future spot price. What do you expect the future spot price? It is nothing but spot price 100 into e power 0 0.03. Enough for it or not now? Can I simplify it? It is 108p plus what? 90 minus 90p is equal to 100 into 1.03. You are fine. Now, correct about now? I believe you. Can I proceed? Now, if I rearrange, what will be getting here? Uh, one not pay plus is how much? Uh? 18p is equal to 103.05 minus 90. Accept or not? No. 18p is equal to 13 point 13 point 05, yeah? Okay, 13 point 05. P is equal to 13.05 divided by 18. What number? What number? Yeah? 0.725. 0.725. 1 minus P is equal to 1 minus 0.725. Is it equal to how much? Yeah? 0.275. 0.275. The probability of one not a share price is 72.5%. The probability of what? 90 share price is what? 27.5%. Don't deeply dig into what probability. We have a discussion later. Just understand very primitively that one not a share price, what are the chance? 72.5%. What are the chance of 90 share price? 27.5%. Like this, you can understand it now. Can I proceed or not? Now. I never call this as probability. I always use the word what? Risk neutral probability. Why? We'll be discussing later. First follow the procedure. Now, what is step one? Risk neutral probability. Tell me the step here. We're going to open a table. What are the table columns here? Situation, FSP, probability, expected FSP. Two situation, 108, 108P. Next is what? 90, 90, 1 minus P. This expected FSP should be equated to what? Spot price compounded to future. If I equate it, I'll be getting two numbers called as P and then what? 1 minus P. With a 72.5%, 27.5%. That's a probability of 108 share price. Probability of what? 27.5 share price is the meaning up to this. Everybody knows on that side. Are you falling or not? Now, next. Step 1 over, risk neutral probability, logic forget it. Did you understand the procedure or not? We'll discuss the full logic later. Are you understanding the procedure or not? Now, tell me the name of step 2. 
expected value of a call, expected value of the put. Yes or no? Now, please look at this. Expected value of the call and then what? Put option. Okay. Now, we'll do both in one same slide. Can I proceed? First, situation one. Okay. FSP can be what? One or eight. Tell me, when FSP is one or eight, we may be holder, we can make it as holder itself, okay? They only value it now. If FSB is one or day, I will exercise my call, lapse it, exercise. The call gives me how much value? 11 rupees. So when the FSP happens to be one or day, my call value is 11. Yes or no? What is the probability that my call will be, will be 11? 0.725. So the expected value is going to be 0.725 into 11 gives you what? 7.975. Can I push it up? No. If the FSP is 108, if you are a put holder, XIs are lapse are lapse. What is the value of the put? Put becomes worthless. What is the probability of your put becoming worthless? 0.725. Once again, so what is the expected value of the put here? Zero. Now, the FSP can even be what? 90. In that case, what is the worth of your call? Worthless. It will be what? Lapse. What is the probability that the call is worthless? 0.275. What is the expected value? Zero. If it is 90, is a put worth or not? Yes. You will exchange the put right to sell at 97 a share worth what? 90. What is the value of the put option? 7. What is the probability of having a put getting a 7 value? 0.225. What is the expected value? 1.925. So now it is 7.975 and then what? 1.925. Again, very simple here. Yeah? Somebody ask you, what is the value of your call? You said, my call can be either 11 rupees or 0 rupees. It all depends on the FSP. It depends on what? FSP. So we said the call can be 11 rupees or what? 0 rupees. Then you ask, please tell me the expected call value. Will I expect 11, 0 extremes average? Uh, average. I say the expected call value is for 11 rupees, the chance is what? 72% and for 0 it will be what? 27 and odd percentage. So I expect my call to be having how much value? 7.975 after 3 months. So no. Same way, one can say for what? Put. What is the Put value you can expect here, yeah, 0 or 7. Is it uh, extreme expectation, average, uh, average. You all say the word expectation means what? Average. So on an average, I expect how much here? Yeah, 1.925. Now, this is the value of the call and put I expect to be having after how many months here? Yeah, 3 months. I pay premium after 3 months or today, ma'am? Today. I should discount by what? 3 months. To find out the call value and put value today. Respond. Yes or no? So, the expected value of the call is 7.3975. What is the value of the call today? Discount by how much percent? 3 per, this going to be how much percent? 12 percent for 3 months. I'll be getting the value of the call today. In the parade or not now. We are not calculated. I think it is 7.9975 divided by 1.0305. Any correct? Any correct? Port Soloba. 7.975 divided by 1.0305. What value of the call today? 7. 7. 7.3 or 7.4. 7.74. Same what binomial model gave you. Yes or no? Now, like that, 1.925 put value after 3 months or not, discount by 3 months, divided by 1.0305, what number do you want to get? 1.87, that's what we got in put call parity, so no, no. The risk utilization model, whether the answer is right or not, can be checked by putting numbers in what? Put call parity, it will always tally, it will what? Always tally. Where it is black holes, risk utilization, every model will make what? The put call parity true. Everybody, are you following what I am saying? Otherwise, the model is wrong because it gives you scope to make an arbitrary profit. So, the step three is what? The present value of call and put. Okay. What the present value of the call here? It is 7.975 divided by e power 0 0.03. While the put is what? 1.925 divided by e power 0 0.03. Here is the present value of the call and put option. In the put now this is how one should be calculating a risk neutral model. The probability is a dark area what it is. We will discuss in the next stage. First of all, do you understand the procedure for calculation? Yes, how many steps are there? Three First steps. step is to calculate what? Risk neutral probability. How you calculate? Equate the expected FSP to what? Spot price compounded to future and find out the P and 1 minus P. Once I know the probability, the next step is what? Find out the expected value of call and put using the probability which you have found out. Yes or no? Now, 
once you finish the second stage, I know the future value of call, future value of put. How to calculate present value of call and put? Discount by three months. I'll be getting the present value of call and put. Everybody understanding it or not? No. This is what we call as what model? Risk neutral model for option valuation. Call and put option. The model can value both call as well as what? Put option. Please respond. Yes or no? No. We can copy this, then we can have some more extra discussion before going for formula way of doing the same problem. Okay, please copy this quickly. Now, give the heading. Heading given a risk neutralization model. Question 22A. Please write question 22A. Copy the facts. Shh. See, study material or ANC and textbook and all, so much detail will not be given. Understand that every class when you are discussing, you are discussing one chapter from Hull, okay, whatever discussed there, I am condensing and what? Giving to you some very hard derivating formula alone, I just leave it. Otherwise, in depth, we are coming, uh, say, covering each and every aspect in the option. Read this way, we will be having a good clarity over the entire chapter, okay. Don't give up, have patience and stamina to listen to the full chapter. Have you finished copying the facts? Yes, now how to read 90 or 8? 90 or 8. That should be always remembered. Can I proceed? Now. Step 1. Give the heading. Risk neutral probability. We will give the step the heading. Risk neutral probability. Step 1. Risk neutral probability. Risk neutral probability. What is FSP future spot price? What is 100 into e power 0 0.033? Future value of spot price. It's not FSP, it's not future value of spot price. Those not copy, raise your hand. Now, can I proceed up? No. Come to the next slide or not? Now, same step you continue. 108p plus 90 into 1 minus p. I want an English word for this. What is this? Tappu, yeah. Tappu, yeah. 108p plus 90 into 1 minus p. What is the English word for this? Expected future spot price. This is what expected future spot price. What is 100 into 1.0305? Future value of spot price. So I equate the expected future spot price to what? Future value of spot price to derive a probability called as risk neutral probability. Even in my dream, I will not use the word probability. I will only use the word what? Risk neutral probability. It is really not a probability at all. That's a Big thing in this, it is called as what? Risk neutral probability. Everybody, can I proceed up? Yes or no? Write down. The risk neutral probability for upper FSP. The risk neutral probability for upper FSP. Upper FSP is what? 108. Okay. The risk neutral probability for upper FSP 
the rescue neutral probability for upper FSP is 0.725. The rescue neutral probability for upper FSP is 0.725 and downward FSP is and downward FSP is 0.275 and downward FSP is 0.275. And download FSP is 0.275. Everybody comfortable or not? No. Next. Step 1 over. Next is what? Step 2. The expected value of call and put. Finish copying on. Finish copying on. Those are not copy, raise your hand. Please do it quickly. Shall I proceed? Step 3. Present value of call and put. Stop talking. Finish copying. Uh, nothing there. There are two black boxes. 7.975 by e per 0 0.03. Not even calculated. 7.741.87. Now, tell me how we know this answer is correct. Yeah? How we know the answer is correct? If it satisfies put call party, answer is not correct. Suppose it does not satisfy put call party, what? Answer wrong. Okay. Don't say arbitrates. No model should allow arbitrates, then model is wrong. You know what I'm saying? So the answer is what? Incorrect. Okay, you have to redo the calculation, please. Shh. Now, come to the discussion. Now, all the students stop here. When I discuss, they take rest. Okay, let him tell. Then we'll proceed further. Don't stop with the numbers. Let's understand the logic now of the model. Okay. Before that, tell me how many steps are there? Yes. First step is what? Risk neutral probability. Second step. Future value or expected value of call and put. Third step, present value of call and put option. Okay, now, see. First to doubt, anybody can have in their mind is, how sir, any sane person will calculate probability. Probability should be assigned, not calculated. Now, 
Somebody asks you what the probability of passing and failing examination. A person says, one says 70, 30, and says what? 80, 20, and so on. What he expects, he assigns what? Probability for his performance. Yes or no? Nobody will say, sir, wait, I will calculate and tell probability. Anybody tell? Tell. You cannot calculate probability, a probability should be assigned. When you calculate, there's a method to do it. You know, that's what I'm saying. Probability is indicating uncertainty. Uncertainty cannot be calculated, yeah, can only be assigned. Are you following or not? Somebody says, what the probability of sharp price 108, sharp price what 90. Based on marketing scenario, a person will say, there's an 80% chance of achieving 108 and 20% chance of achieving what 90. A person should assign probability based on the probability of the event occurring. Yes or no? Nobody can calculate. If there's a formula for calculating probability, we have a formula for future. Always, future can never have a formula, can have only what? Assignment. Yes or no? We can guess the future scientifically. We cannot do what? Calculate the future. Are you what I'm saying? So, first step is out of box. First step is what? Out of box. A probability is calculated. A probability is what? Calculated. How come in the earth any sane person can calculate a probability? Question is not. That is why I said we are not discussing a probability. We are discussing what? Probability. What it means is risk neutral probability. That should be understood very differently. We understood what? Very differently. In fact, that 72.5% is not the probability of 108 price. It's not the probability of what? 90, 27.5. 108 and 90 can have a different probability. 108 can have 90% chance. 90 can have what? 10% chance. Or 90 can have what? 90% chance. And 108 can have what? 10% chance. That is what you are saying. Another person is saying differently. Get back. You say 90, 10 chance. I may say what? 80, 20. Each person can have his own probability. Yes or no? No. This is not that probability you're discussing. You're discussing about what probability? Risk neutral probability. What probability? Risk neutral probability. What it is? The next issue. Yes or no? You know, very beautiful thinking about what? Option valuation. So now they bring a concept, new concept called as what? Risk neutral probability. What it is? Can I proceed or not? No. So, first discussion. One thing I made you understand that probability can never be. Calculator can only be one as saying this is not probability. This is called as what risk neutral probability. Can I proceed or not? Now, see in portfolio theory, we discuss about three types of persons risk covers, risk neutral, and what risk lovers. Yes or no? Now, please, a risk lover will pay to take a risk. How I pay to go for a horse riding? How I pay to buy a lottery ticket even though I know I will be losing the lottery? Right? That excitement, for getting that excitement, I want to pay money. So a risk lover pays to take a risk, yes or no? Risk averse person wants a premium for risk taking, yes or no? He does not like to take risk. If he make him take risk, he is asking a premium. That is what entire share market is all about, yes or no? Uh, the market is full of what? Risk averse person only is the assumption in the entire portfolio theory from Markovich to what? Sharp. Are you following what I am saying? So now, here there is a third person who is a risk neutral. He doesn't worry about risk at all. Whether risk is there, not that. He doesn't ask premium. He doesn't pay for the risk. Nor he asks for what a premium. He ignores risk at all. He ignores what a risk. He is a person who is neutral towards what? Risk. He wants only one return. Call as what? Risk free return. He does not want a premium for the risk. For example. That person is called as what? Risk neutral person. This model for valuing option assumes a risk neutral world. Assume what world? Yeah? Risk neutral world. Where the investors does not want what? Premium for the risk. They only want what? The risk free return. Point number one. Accept or not? Now, can I proceed or not? Now, a little bit uh, intricate discussion. Please follow carefully. Can I want to exercise or not? Now, see. A risk neutral person purchases a share today at 100 rupees. How much rupees here? 100 rupees. He wants the share price after 3 months to become 110 rupees, 150, 103.05. He invests how much rupees? 100 today. At the end of 3 months, will he want 100? No. He wants the share price to what? Grow. He wants a return. He wants what? Return from the investment. He wants a return with premium, huh? without premium. Huh? Without Why without premium? He is a risk neutral person. He is what person here? Yeah? Risk neutral person. A risk neutral person expects a risk free return. Yes or no? He expects 12% per annum. Yes or no? 
what is 12 percent this give for express what 12 percent per annum or express what three percent for what three months continuously compounded he says that i expect the share price to become 103.105 after three months because i expect the risk free return because i'm a risk neutral person irrespective of the risk of 108 90 108 90 can have 100 say 90 10 80 20 70 that is not worried about that for him only one year that is his under should become what 103 point zero five this is the return he expects from the share how much return three percent continuously compounded for three months in the parade or not now then what we do is this risk neutral person wants one or three or not in that case what probability we should assign to get this one or three whatever in this or no now what probably we should assign to get what one or three in other words if i have a probability of how much 0 0.725, 0 0.275. The expected FSP also becomes what? The 103.05. Yes or no? Here you understand that. I can let's say like this. See, a risk neutral person had he assigned a probability. I can say had he assigned what? Probability. He would have assigned what probability? 72.5 and then what? 27.5. He will not assign. But if he has assigned probability, assign how much here? Yeah? 72.5 and then what? 27.5 probability to get this 103.025. In a parade or not? So this is not the real probability of the share price. It is called as what probability? Risk neutral probability. It is called as what? Risk neutral probability. Now, I will do the reverse discussion. If the real probability happens to be risk neutral probability if the real probability of 108 and 90 happens to be what risk neutral probability of 72.5 percent and what 27.5 percent then my expected fsb will give me a risk free return now so if my real probability it may be something different. Maybe what? Something different. With real probability, the expected return is going to be what? A risky return. Yes or no? Now, I am not saying real probability. If I multiply the FSP with what? A risk neutral probability, I get an expert FSP now. The expert FSP will give me what return? Risk free return. In other words, again, same. If I multiply the cash flows with the risk neutral probability, what they get is an expected cash flow that will give me what? A risk free return. In the or no? The corollary put in the bar now. So this under 72.5 is 27.5 is not real probably because if I multiply the 108 and what 90 using real probability, I'll be getting some other number. I'll be getting what? Some other number. It may be 107 or what? 108. What I get in that case is what? A yeah, risky return. A return that is what? Is what? Not risk free. It is what? Risky. If I multiply the expected future cash flow using what? Risk neutral probability, the expected FSP will give. Give me a return today 100 after three months what 103.05 if the probability is what this number then what a earn is what a risk free return in a parade or not up to this following what i'm saying now you keep this in mind this is what they wanted this is what they wanted okay because they wanted a risk return for discounting so no now look at the next slide now answer me take call alone what is the value of the car it can be what 11 it can be what? Uh, zero. It can be 11. It can be what? Zero. Now, 11 has got a chance. Zero has got a chance. I am not saying that 11, the chance is 72.5 and zero chance is what? 27.5. It is a setup probability, not a real probability. So, no. Now, if I multiply this 11 with a real probability, zero with what? Real probability, I get the expected value of the call, which has in a risk premium. Then I should discount using what? A risky rate. Yes or no? Now, I did not multiply the, but the real probability with what? A risk neutral probability. So, the 7.95 is a value that is going to give me what? Risk free return from the card. Yes or no? It gives me only one return. Risk free return. So, tell me 7.975 is having a risk inside and no risk on. No risk. Here, they eliminated the rest through what? Risk neutral probability. Yes or no? Now, tell me 103.05 is an expert FSP. Na? That expected FSP is giving the investor a risky return or risk free return. <laughs> if I want to find a spot price, the one or three should be discounted at what price? Risk free. risk free rate. Yes or no? Like that. This value of the call which I got is what value? 
yeah, expanded value using what probability? Risk in neutral probability. So this number, if you want to bring it to today, when discounted risky rate, risk free rate, risk rate, that's why they wanted a discount. We got the call and put value. Everybody falling on this is what we call as what risk neutral the name is what risk neutral model how a risk neutral person will view the entire scenario we call as what risk neutral model okay now so with this we completed this particular logical discussion of the word p and then what one minus p otherwise difficult to understand these things unless you know what the real meaning of the formulas and the conceptual derivation now in the Yella discussion, if you see, they put a lot of hard work to ensure that I discount an option value at what risk free rate. Other medium for that only so much has been what thought about it, and the models have been done. By now, how they ensure risk free rate by consulting a risk free portfolio. Here they ensure by using what a risk neutral probability. It is a very different approach, may be different, but the values will be obviously what same because both have eliminated what risk from their calculation to ensure discounting using what a risk free rate. Everybody following or not? Can I proceed further? No, so I will complete my discussion approach to also and then we will have a full notes regarding what has been discussed okay and i was not now very small approach to what are three steps Suluba. risk neutral probability next is what the expected value of call and pull present value of call and pull the expected value should be discounted using what rate risk of free rate where the probability is what risk neutral probability everybody understanding it or not now next Approach to the second, third step, same, need not do it. We calculate at 72.5%, 27.5%, probability or not. For calculating that probability, there is a formula. There is a formula for calculating the probability. It is very regularly used in the institute answers. Okay. So what is the formula for calculating the probability? I will do it and then I will give you time to copy it. Okay. I think I copy it up to the first step fully or not. Now, okay. now see. Probability formula is probability is equal to e power tr of minus d divided by u minus d. Now, don't copy, participate. e power tr of minus d divided by u minus d. They particularly use the word r of t because the return to be used is what? Risk free return. We normally use e power tr now from now on was always use what? e power tr of. Black Scholes also uses what? e power tr of. So just particularly hint that I should use what return? Risk of return. e power tr of minus t divided by u minus t. Can I say? Now, what is u? Please. u is equal to upper FSP divided by spot price. u is equal to what? Upper FSP divided by spot price. What upper FSP? 108. What is spot price? 100. 1.08 is u. Accept it. What is u? 1.08. Next. d is equal to downward FSP divided by spot price. What is downward FSP? Divided by 100. What is D? 0 0.90. Number 8 or not? Now, E power TRF is equal to E power, what is T? 3 by 12 into 0.12 is equal to E power 0 0.03. Is equal to what? 1.03. Number is yes or no? Now, use all the three. Can I put it here or not? Now, tell me. Probability is equal to 1.0305. What is D? Minus 0 0.90 divided by 1.08 minus 0 0.90. E power TR of minus D divided by U minus T. Can somebody simplify and tell me what the number you want to get? 0 0.725 is the probability. Next is 1. 1 minus probability is 1. 1 minus 0 0.725 gives you what? 0 0.273. Always this P means upper FSP. Don't change the order. That's how the formula is derived later. Okay. So P means what? Upper FSP. 1 minus P means what? Downward FSP probability. That's how one should find out the P and 1 minus P. Instead of doing using table approach, one can do using what? Formula. To understand this formula, you should know the table, other original method. Everybody following or not? Now tell me what is the formula for probability, upper probability? E power T R of minus D divided by U minus D. What is D? Uh, what is D? Uh? What is D? Downward FSP divided by spot price. What is U? Upward FSP divided by spot price. E power TRF means what? E power 3 by 12 into 0.12 here gives you the same probability. Yes or no? Now, please. 
Now, what is this formula? Understand the formula derivation and then I will give you the time to copy this and the notes. Okay. Now, this is nothing but our table method only. Nothing but what? Our table method only. Please. Shh. This formula is regularly used in all the textbook including what the institute, the suggestion answers. Can I proceed? Now, see. Let us go for the original. How we calculate that? 108 P plus 90 into 1 minus P is equal to 100 into e power 0 0.03. Accept it? Yes, Please. I will just simplify it or elaborate it. 108 P plus 1, 90 minus 90 P is equal to 100 into e power 0 0.03. In the right or not now? See. Both left hand side, right hand side, I will divide by spot price. I will divide by what price? Yeah? Spot price. And then the number will be same. L is just 2, R is just 2. Na? 2 by 100 to better gives you what? Same number only. If I do L is just one operation, if I say do the same thing in R is also, equally will not be disturbed. Yes or no? I divide both with what? Spot price. Tell me what happens here. 108 by 100 P plus what? 90 by 100 minus 90 by 100 P is equal to 100 by 100 is what? 1. Now this is also what? Spot price only. It becomes what? 1. Is equal to what? E power point 0, 0.03. Yes or no? Now. This is upper FSP. This is what? Spot price. We can call this U or not. U is equal to upper FSP divided by what? Spot price. This is U into P. U P plus. This is what? Uh, Downward FSP is what? Gives you what? Uh, D minus. This is what? Uh, D P. Remember, I don't know. Now. So, downward FSP by spot price is T into P. This is T. This is UP is equal to what? E power TR. E power TR of S or no? Now, please. What happens is, I will take P common. P into, if you just say, U minus D plus D is equal to E power TR of S or no? Now, what am I have to calculate? P, say P no? That is P, that is, we can say, P is equal to E power TR of minus D divided by U minus D is a formula. Everybody following what I am saying? <laughs> they are not doing any calculus. Yeah, simple. The question only has been derived as what? Formula. Table method of original. This probability is what probability? Risk in neutral probability because this is a probability of earning a risk free return. Brother. Formula, it's a probability of earning what return? Risk of return, it becomes what? A risk neutral probability. Everybody following or not? No. With this, we complete this model called as what? Risk neutralization model for the option valuation. Everybody understood or not? No. Right on. Next. Alternatively, I think if you are, if I am right, you should have copied up to what? This uh, value of call and put. Right on. Alternatively, shh. Alternatively, the step one, risk neutral probability, alternatively, the step one, risk neutral probability can be calculated using, the step one, risk neutral probability can be calculated using the formula, the step one, risk neutral probability can be calculated using the formula. P is equal to e power tr of minus d divided by p is equal to e power tr of minus d divided by u minus d. e power tr of minus d divided by u minus d. Where u is equal to, everybody please elaborate, where u is equal to what? Upper FSP divided by spot price. Upper future spot price divided by spot price. Upper FSP divided by spot price. D is equal to, please, D is equal to what? Downward FSP divided by spot price. D is equal to downward FSP divided by spot price. E power TR of is known. R of is what? Risk free T is a term of the option. Can I be or not? Now, next. U is equal to, let's do the calculation, U is equal to 108 by 100, 1.08. U is equal to 108 by 100, 1.08. D is equal to, 
D is equal to what? 90 by 100 is equal to 0 0.90. D is equal to 90 by 100 is equal to 0 0.90. P is equal to P is equal to E power 0 0.03 minus 0 0.90. E power T n of is 0 0.03 already seen number of times in the previous calculation na? e power 0 0.03 minus 0 0.90 divided by 1.08 minus 0 0.90 e power 0 0.03 minus 0 0.90 divided by 1.08 minus 0 0.90 is equal to 0 0.725 0 0.725 1 minus p 1 minus p is equal to 1 minus 0 0.725 0 0.275 1 minus 0.725 0.275 1 minus 0.275 is equal to 0.275 the remaining steps are same the step 2 and step 3 will not change the remaining steps are what same the remaining steps are same everybody understanding it or not now let's have the notes just 4 or 5 points can I say it right on point number 1 Notes try point number one. Point number one. Probability should be assigned. Point number one. Probability should be assigned and not calculated. Probability should be assigned and not calculated. Probably should be assigned and not calculated. But here, but here, in step one, we calculate probability. But here, in step one, we calculate probability. How? But here, why na? Then I am accepting it. Okay, how is the question? Okay, but here, we are calculating probability. How? Okay. Here we are calculating probability. How? Oh, question marks. Next point number two. Point number two. Please. Okay, now, point number two. We are not calculating probability. We are not calculating probability. We are not calculating probability of the upper and lower prices. We are not calculating the probability of upper and lower prices. That is, that is the probability of 108, that is the probability of 108 need not be that is the probability of 108 need not be how much percent? 72.5 percent. The probability of 108 need not be 72.5 percent. It can be. It can be what? Any number. It can be any number. Point number 2 or 3? Three. 3. What we are calculating is called... What we are calculating is called risk neutral probability. What we are calculating is called risk neutral probability. What we are calculating is called risk neutral probability. What we are calculating is called a risk neutral probability, which is a setup probability, which is a setup probability or not a real probability. What we are calculating is only risk neutral probability which is a setup probability or not a real probability. Which is a setup probability or not a real probability. Setup not just we are setting it up. It is not really what is happening. The setup probability or not a real probability. Everybody, are you able to distinguish or not? Next. Point number three or four? Four. Point number four. In a risk neutral world, in a risk neutral world, the investor will not ask. In a risk neutral world, the investors will not ask. 
in a risk neutral world the investors will not ask will not ask what premium for the risk the investors will not ask premium for the risk the investors will not ask premium for the risk that is they ignore risk the investor does not ask premium for the risk that is they ignore risk point number 3 or 4 or 5 5 a shareholder, a shareholder who invests 100 rupees in this share, a shareholder who invests 100 rupees in this share and who is risk neutral, and who is risk neutral, and who is risk neutral, would he expect the share price to be who is risk neutral would he expect the share price to be would he expect the share price to be how much 103.05 would he expect the share price to be 103.05 after 3 months 103.05 after 3 months to earn him to earn him a risk free return of to earn him a risk free return of 3% for 3 months to earn him a risk free return of 3% for 3 months to earn him a risk free return of 3% for 3 months now tell me what is the IRR is expecting 3 that is why he expect the share price to be 1 or 3 and discounted what percent? 3 percent and willing to pay 100 today. So what I am saying is that is he expects an IRR of that is he expects an IRR of how much percent? 3 percent from his investment. I am saying 3 percent for 3 months period. You understand? Okay? He expects an IRR of 3 percent from this investment. He expects an IRR of 3 percent from this investment. He expects an IRR of 3% from this investment. He expects an IRR of 3% from this investment. Let's point. Yes or no? No. Next. Point number 3, 4 or 5. Point number 6. To get this, to get this, the expected price of 103.05, to get this expected price of 103.05 which gives him risk free return to get this expected price of 103.05 which gives him risk free return which gives him risk free return the probability the probability that should have been assigned the probability that should have been assigned, the probability that should have been assigned by a risk neutral investor, the probability that should have been assigned by a risk neutral investor, the probability that should have been assigned by a risk neutral investor should have been have been I am understanding the heart, okay, should have been. 72.5 percent should have been 72.5 percent for what 100 should have been 72.5 percent for 100 and tell me and what 27.5 percent for 90 and 27.5 percent for 90 this is called this is called what probability risk neutral probability this is called risk neutral probability this is called risk neutral probability. This is called risk neutral probability. Everybody understanding it or not? Now. Next point number 7 and point number 7. Please. Last two points I will complete here. Point number 7. Please. In other words. In other words. When we multiply the FSPs with. In other words, 
when you multiply the FSP is with, when you multiply the FSP is with, what probability? Risk neutral probability. When you, when you multiply the FSP is with, risk neutral probability. Tell this one at the class, okay? When you multiply the FSP is with, risk neutral probability, please. When you multiply the FSP is with, risk neutral probability, we get an expected FSP, please. We get an expected FSP. We get an expected FSP which gives us. We get an expected FSP which gives us. Which gives us what? Risk free return. We get an expected FSP that gives us risk free return. We get an expected FSP that gives us a risk free return. That's point. Are you following or not? Next. Last point. Point number A. Since, since the future values of call and put, since the future values of call and put, I use a plural values, why? Call value can be 11 or what? 0. Since the future values of call and put is multiplied by us using since the future value of call and put is multiplied by us using, by us using what? Risk neutral probability is multiplied by us using risk neutral probability, using risk neutral probability, we get the expected value of call and put, we get the expected value of call and put, we get the expected value of call and put, that gives us, we get the expected value of call and put that gives us, that gives us what? Risk free return. We get the expected value of call and put that gives us risk free return. Simply point number 7, I copied and pasted, substituting the share price with call and put value. That gives us what? Risk free return. Hence, hence, no, mudi yeah, okay, hence. To find the present value of call and put, we should discount using. Hence, to find out, hence, to find out, hence, to find out, present value of call and put, hence, to find out, present value of call and put, we should discount using, to find out, present value of call and put, we should discount using what rate? Risk of free rate. We should discount using risk of free rate. We should discount using risk of free rates. Are you understand the logic or not? Now, whatever question here, yeah, answer I'll leave you. Okay. How much you invest in call today? Seven point. Please listen. You are a holder, now. You pay a premium. How much you pay? Now, stop. No, but wrong. Absolutely wrong. Don't pack. Listen. Shh. See, you pay seven point seven four premium in the option market to buy a call or not? You invest at seven point seven four in a call asset. Yes or no? Now. You expecting to earn how much after three months? 7.975. Yes or no? That means I'm expecting one return, risk free return. That is what is the discounted use. Everybody, yes or no? Now, with this, we complete risk neutralization model. Now, next session, very important, we'll discuss two period binomial, three examination. 10 10 marks question has been asked from the two period binomial. And also, very important model, Black Shores model in the next session.